Washington State. Well, she is the pride of the Utah Highway Patrol in her short career. Trooper Lisa Steed has made a mind-boggling number of DUI arrests, but some wonder if her zeal to get impaired drivers off the road might be infringing on their constitutional rights. Well, Chris Jones has the story for us tonight, a special report. And uh, Chris, uh, uh, Trooper Steed, we've done a lot of reports, very successful and very passionate about what she does. Yeah, she's absolutely dedicated to getting drunk drivers off the road. She's been a trooper for eight years, and during that time, she has arrested 800 people for DUI. But when she arrested Mike Tilt on this bike for driving down the wrong side of the sidewalk and not signaling, it raised a lot of questions about what Lisa Steed thinks is a DUI. We're riding the wrong way on the sidewalk. Dash cam video, October 28th. The arrest of Mike Tilt. And she says, well, I need you to do a few tests for me. Tilt is told to walk in a straight line. I couldn't do one step without almost falling on my face. He admits he takes prescription drugs and is arrested for DUI. Looks like an airtight case, right? Well, wait until you hear the rest of the story. My whole left side of my body is weaker than my right side. There we go. Mike has struggled his entire life with disabilities like cerebral palsy. He's a good person. A good person who voluntarily traded in his driver's license 15 years ago for an electric bike, his only mode of transportation. This guy's on a motorized bicycle. He's pulled over on that bike by trooper Lisa Steed. And I've always been kind of lopsided on everything I do. One leg is shorter than the other, and Mike tells Steed he will fail this test, and he does. He also tells Steed he has a seizure disorder. Steed, it appears, is building her case and asks if Mike takes medication. I says, yes. I says, for epilepsy, it says, put your hands behind your back. I says, what, you're arresting me? And she goes, yeah, for DUI. For taking prescription drugs, drugs Mike says he ironically forgot to take that night. If she's proud of taking in an epileptic patient for DUI, nah, I don't know what to think about her and her character. Her bosses think highly of her. In 2009, she arrested 400 people for driving under the influence. No officer in the state or the country, for that matter, comes even close. She's been cheered Trooper of the Year in 2007. But Steed has also been chastised. In fact, some defense attorneys and judges have questioned how she enforces the law and if she follows procedure. One state judge called her disregard of UHP policy especially troubling. And Justice Court Judge L.G. Cutler said of Steed's testimony in one case that she, quote, lacks credibility. Clearly. Still, her bosses say that Mike is DUI, and Steed follows all the rules. You're confident that uh, Trooper Steed follows the law and follows procedure? Yes, I am. I see violations of due process all the time. Attorney Glenn Neely has represented several of Steed's stops. She has guidelines, she has policies to follow, and she doesn't follow those policies. When you're told to get out of the car, that's what you do. Neely says, among other things, Steed routinely conducts field sobriety tests just out of the view of the dash cam. He says that way it's always her word against yours. That's very disturbing to me. Now remember, initially, the UHP defended Steed, but our investigation prompted their own inquiry and UHP bosses called us back and asked for a second interview. Was it consistent with what we're trying to do with our overall perspective of DUI enforcement in review of it? No, it wasn't. This individual will not be prosecuted for DUI. I feel a lot better, but it still just kind of irritates me. So Mike is off the hook, but what about Steed? She gets a talking to, we're told, but is not punished. And this unsettling case begs the question, are there other problems in Steed's ticket book? I mean, what if we were to pull other arrests? Do you think that we'd find similar concern? You would see very thorough, um, very accurate, and very good arrests made for DUI. My question is, is if she's protecting us from the dregs of society, who's protecting us from her? 
Now, we've talked to some defense attorneys about this case, and they say, you know, even if Channel 2 did not get involved in this case, they feel that the charges would have likely been dropped, but not until after a long court proceeding and not after uh, Mike had to spend thousands of dollars on attorneys and court fees. As for Steed, she remains on the force in good standing. She was not made available for an interview for this story. Back to you. Hmm. All right, Chris, thanks. Time to talk a little bit about the weather. And there, for once, there's a lot to talk about instead of just mild <laughs> and in the 60s, right? Yeah, yeah it was, it's it was, it was like, wait a minute, this is November. We need some storms. Yeah. Well, we've got a storm in here. T check out some of these rainfall totals today from our weather bug stations. Amazing. Centerville, 1.28. North Salt Lake, 1.15. And while you're reading those, let me tell you that the Salt Lake International Airport had 0.87 inches of rain today. That was a record rainfall for this date. And also we had 1.78 Cottonwood Heights. Here's some other amounts down in southern Utah. Cedar City 1900s, but they're getting a big snowstorm right now in Cedar City. 1900s at uh, Camas, uh, 1800s at Milford.